The first descendant, hotfix 1.1.7. Greetings, descendants. Here are the details on the first descendant hotfix patch. Um, content improvements. Reduce the cooldown for outpost content from 60 seconds to 30 seconds. Weren't they already 45 seconds, though? Every time I change to a new area, it always read 45 seconds instead of 60 seconds. Am I, am I dumb? I thought it always read like 45. Yeah, but anyways. With this patch note, we'd like to share the, de the dev team's reasoning behind reducing the outpost cooldown to 30 seconds, along with our future plans to further for further improvements. Stage 1 outpost 30 second reduction. Based on feedback, we reduced the outpost cooldown to 30 seconds. Completely removing the delay could make outpost farming uh, disproportionately more efficient than infiltration operations, potentially leading to less dynamic outpost farming with this change. The outpost, cool, outpost cooldown is set to 30 seconds, allowing you to enjoy smooth gameplay while maintaining the efficiency similar to that of infiltration. We recognize that the main problem with the outpost is forcing inconvenient reward acquisition and lengthening one minute cooldown leading to tedious gameplay to address this. We plan to enable you to farm and morph materials not only in outposts, but along also during infiltration operations this update will uh, allow you to choose between the outpost fragment fusion reactor or infiltration fragments fusion reactor farming paths enabling farming without relying on sharon we aim to implement this change early in season two and we'll provide details that's kind of crazy yeah that's kind of crazy that they are eliminating the use of Sharon. Well, chat, there's no reason to play Sharon anymore. Stage three, outpost rework. Plans to rework outposts are still under discussion following the addition of new farming routes. Uh, we want to keep our options open uh, for a variety of improvements. Our goal is to completely overhaul the role and gameplay of outposts, aiming to improve them so they become more engaging content with the continuous battles. We expect this change to lead to increase in participation and infiltration operations. Additionally, to resolve the issue of long matchmaking times in the infiltration operation, we have made plans to introduce a random matchmaking feature. This, With this feature, you will be able to earn rewards for completing the selected infiltration operations while the dungeon itself will be randomly matched the goal is to reduce matchmaking times and provide pleasant multiplayer experience we are preparing to implement the random matchmaking system on season two update uh that's good right besides improving the farming route of more materials with the addition of hmm, that sounds nice ui and ux we have made improvements so you can adjust module settings immediately after completing infiltration operation and avoid intercept battles until right before matchmaking begins. Oh, that's pretty nice. So the little circle, I guess, um, before it begins, you have time to, chance to um, fix your setting, your stuff. Yeah. Um... The whole time for button pop-up messages display under specific conditions have been reduced. Improved reactor info tooltip, improved mission result window. Miscellaneous, remove the hero landing character animation when jumping from a high altitude. Uh, now, ooh, that's kind of nice. So you don't have this big um, falling animation now. Uh, you can now just transition from s skill to skill. That's kind of nice no fall down um landing animation uh bug fixes uh weapon and modules is there anything that i'm missing that is really good here chat shop any anything that i'm missing is missing that you think is worth reading nah uh that's pretty good tips yeah pretty pretty good job um a hot fix I'm looking forward to season two and allegedly apparently chat the team has not revealed one of their biggest secrets for season two apparently during season two they have something that uh they have been keeping a surprise for us my guess is the whole pet system 
they haven't really revealed the whole how the pet system works that's my guess but apparently there is a, a secret or a surprise that the team still has not yet talked about or revealed for season two yeah okay that's it let's go back to gaming hey i kind of need a little bit of help how about you help me out hit that follow subscription button um all the good stuff yeah comment and like possibly maybe please